It's a powerhouse of oil and gas thought leaders, government functionaries, CEOs, the OPEC leadership, operators, project promoters, financiers, policy makers, and the list goes on. There are no doubts to the current challenges of global energy needs, demands, supply, and more worrisome, the pushback against fossil fuel production and funding. That volatility is a big talking point at this forum, and the numbers are there. Here are some from the Secretary General of OPEC. The global oil sector will need cumulative investments of about 11.8 trillion US dollars in the upstream, in the midstream, and the downstream through to 2045 to meet current and future demand. Oil is expected to retain the largest share of the energy mix accounting for just over 28% share in 2045, followed by gas at around 24%. These developments increase the urgency of eradicating another pandemic, which is the energy poverty. Nigeria recognizes these and is engaging the outcomes, but have also a balancing strategy to comply with transition energy talks and at the same time address our energy poverty. The federal government is providing a lot of enablers which are needed to realize the full potential of the gas sector. This includes the development of critical infrastructure and systems such as the OB3 gas pipeline, the AKK gas pipeline, the Nigeria gas transportation network code, the Nigerian gas transportation network code provides streamlined operation, operational and fiscal terms for third party use of gas distribution and transmission infrastructures. The Petroleum Industry Act further provides new and attractive terms for participation in the Nigerian oil and gas sector. As it comes. NMPC Limited, the soon to become Africa's most capitalized company, is inviting partnerships, financing, in the face of what it sees as a lineup of positive return on investment opportunities. In our conversation with our partners, we continue to emphasize that our key role is to make sure that we are able to bring gas available to our country and make it available to the world. And fortunately for all of us in this room and outside this room, that the world needs gas. And our most recent engagements have shown that the world is crying for our gas. And this is a perfect opportunity for all of us to take uh, in, in this industry and these sectors to see that we can make the money of today, also create the prosperity of today for our people. A clearly developing conversation and one which these heads say they will carry on to Egypt at COP27. Nigeria is leading that charge. She wants her voice a space on the table of global transition energy discourse. Olu Phillips, Channel Television News.